Hi, Lou here again, and this drill, as the name says, is saucy passing using two nets. The idea is to practice a saucer pass and try to involve two players and eventually nice long rink wide pass, uh, sort of simulating in a game though where we want to get it up and over some sticks relatively quickly. So the way that this drill starts, player number one skates backwards with the puck and immediately partner passes to player number two, who partner passes back to one and starts skating forward. Player number one partner passes back to two. So we've got two partner passes relatively quickly. Number one continues backwards and then transitions to forward, starts skating around the ice and ends up somewhere over here. Now, just switching down here because too many lines spoils the broth, as it were, just gets too busy. Player number two, who now uh, has the puck, is going to be skating with it, goes around pylon number one, goes around pylon number two, and with his head up, comes up through the pylons and makes a saucer pass over top of the net the angle will change obviously in relation to where player number one is. Really important for player number two to lead the player and to get it nice and high. Now the nets can be on their uh, sides if you like or they can be standing upright. Your call. One's obviously harder than the other. I generally have them down on their sides. Gives you a little bit more width and a uh, little easier for the players. After that player number one uh, you can do a variety of things with him uh, down at the opposite end uh, and obviously there'd be a shot on net. Key points, quick partner passing on the tape, transition from backwards to forwards at speed. Uh, the saucer pass starts near the heel of the stick and as we make the pass you really want to try and keep it, uh, keep the puck spinning nice and tight and follow through a little bit. Okay, important for the player to keep his head down as he's doing this so he doesn't whiff. Uh, if he starts looking up for the pass, uh, lots of times they'll miss. Anyways, uh, try this uh, saucy passing and uh, can be a lot of fun. One slight footnote, if the saucer pass doesn't make it over the net, I usually position a coach somewhere here and the second pass would be coming so that uh, player number one isn't left out. Uh, in the cold. So position a coach or a player here or you could even have somebody in the lineup I guess right here and they have to stay on their toes they could make that pass. That's probably a better one than having the coach do it. Thanks.